Our next guest worked on Washington's Capitol Hill for 25 years, so no surprise that his debut novel, Felling Big Trees, features a politician as protagonist. But this book has more of a mission than just being entertaining and educational. Rich Guerin is here to explain. Good morning and congratulations. Good morning. Thank you, Cheryl. Good to be here. Thank you for coming. We mentioned throughout the, the teases that you worked on Capitol Hill. What exactly did you do? Uh, actually, I started as an intern, and uh, the last six years uh, of a 25-year career, uh, I was chief of staff of the uh, House Committee on International Relations. Mm -hmm. So you saw a lot of how the political machine works. It, was that kind of what sparked the idea for the, the novel? Yes. Uh, when, I, when I left the Hill, uh, I thought there were a number of things that I'd like to share, uh, including some of the larger issues of the time and uh, <clears throat> just how things worked and also uh, some of the uh, uh, personal insights in, into members. And I, I thought that I'd be able, I, I wanted to share some of those things and I thought I could bring a certain authenticity to it. It's interesting that, that this is kind of a period piece. It's set in the near past, in the 1990s. Right. Why did you decide to do that? Uh, it was the period that I was uh, most familiar with, and uh, what I saw as I started to look at the headlines of today in that is that there are uh, problems that existed back then, the types of problems uh, are still with us today. And um, I, I think we, we really have to kind of generate a certain uh, political will to uh, get some of these issues resolved, uh, poverty, uh, hunger, homelessness, and that. And um, I, I think the development of the main character uh, throughout the book uh, demonstrates his concern for trying to get a handle on some of these things. So in a nutshell, give us the, the, the plot of felling big trees. Well, in a nutshell, it, it uh, tries to um, use the protagonist as a, as a lens, as it were, uh, onto some of the larger issues of the day, onto the dynamics of uh, how uh, Capitol Hill worked. Um, he, uh, he's a person that is going through some difficult times, uh, having just lost his spouse, uh, trying to uh, take care of a teenage daughter, and uh, also, I think, uh, slowly recognizing that um, there is a lot of power in Capitol Hill. Uh, unfortunately, it's not used as, as it should be in a directed towards some of these problems. Yeah, he finds himself questioning why he didn't do more correct. with the power that he had. Correct, correct. And I think that that's a, a key issue, whether it's uh, in the 90s or now, is uh, how we break through some of the apathy, uh, how we generate political will. Uh, there are a number of good organizations out there that uh, try to do that, and uh, I think there's an opportunity for everybody to kind of join in. And that's kind of where you're joining in because all the proceeds from this book are going to an um, organization that's near and dear to your heart. That's, that's Why Hunger, yes. Uh, I've been working with them uh, starting about 40 years ago. They were, uh, the organization back then was called World Hunger Year and was founded by singer-songwriter Harry Chapin. And they really are out on the front lines uh, dealing with a lot of these issues. And uh, so I thought... Uh, using two things, and number one, uh, using writing as a, uh, a way to uh, try to develop a platform to bring some attention to these issues, and uh, also uh, generating whatever proceeds uh, possible uh, and channel it to this organization. And that's where your work <clears throat> is done you, in homelessness and hunger in Northern Virginia, right. and you and your wife also go on mission trips. That's correct. Uh, we haven't been for the last two years, but for about seven or eight years in a row, uh, we went to Bolivia. Uh, fortunately, she speaks Spanish, so that helped out quite a bit, but we helped with uh, church building and uh, 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 reaching out to uh, some of the poor, and uh, there are large concentrations of the poor down there. As people read your book, is there a message that you'd like them to take away from it? Uh, just a, a message that I think that uh, we, we have to kind of spend some time recognizing what some of the key problems are that, uh, that confront us. 
and uh, trying to kind of just break through the apathy and uh, recognize that uh, we need to channel uh, resources to those who are less fortunate and uh, just try to reach out with other people and join with them in uh, generating the political will to try to do this. Well, it is an interesting read, especially from the first chapter mm -hmm. on. <laughs> I love the way you start the book. Mm -hmm. It's very interesting. Rich Guerin, thank you so much for joining us today. Thank you for having me, And Cheryl. best of luck with the new book. Thank you very much. You're very mm -hmm. welcome. Felling Big Trees by Rich Guerin is available now.